on our website, there's already a video that's showing PeerLink, and we're using the 205 and some other devices, but PeerLink's also built into the new bricks. So I want to give you a little demonstration of how it works. And what PeerLink does is it broadcasts, it publishes information out on the Ethernet network, and we call them blocks. And at, right now I happen to have this bricks with an analog signal coming in, and I move that analog signal into a PeerLink memory location, PL0. Then I take that block of peer link memory locations, starting at 0, going to 15, and we call it block 0. And it just publishes it out on the network. In the meantime, that guy over there is just listening, right? It's called publish and subscribe. Right. He's that guy's just subscribing. He's not sending anything out. He's just listening. So when I send something out of here in any of the memory locations from PL0 to 15, because I'm broadcasting, I'm publishing on block 0, and there's 16 blocks. I just happen to pick block 0. Anything that goes into PL0 will appear in that device's PL0. So what I did over here, and you'll see it here in the ladder code, I put my peer link block in, I move WX0, which is the analog raw value coming off the card. I moved it over to PL0. That's all I did. And then 10 times per second, PL0 is published out to the network. Then over in this PLC, it shows up as PL0. And I wrote a piece of code that just says, look, if PL0 is greater than 8,000, turn on the green light. So now we're going to go back to the actual hardware here, and as I turn this pot up and down, you'll see the light goes on. Just a simple application, guys. I don't, I'm, this pot is in this PLC, and 10 times per second, it is publishing the pot's raw value out onto the network, and this device is subscribed to listen to the network, and so as I, as I publish the number out 10 times per second, that guy receives it 10 times per second. It doesn't take any wiring. It's already the, once the Ethernet cables are put in, I just install the software, write the code, and it works. That, right. There's no configuration because it's Ethernet. The PeerLink protocol just automatically works. Any P, do more PLC that has a PeerLink instruction can either publish one of 16 blocks, but you could have a thousand do more PLCs subscribing just to all that global data. Just listening. Just listening and getting all those 16 blocks. Now all of them do that except the bricks that don't have the built-in Ethernet. Right. They don't, have, do, they don't do peer link. Right, right, right. And even if I add the card, they don't do peer link. Right, right. It's only the ones with, the same the, with the 205 the, and Terminator, it's only the ones with the built-in Ethernet that yeah, support you have peer a, link. Yeah, because you have a 205 that doesn't have the Ethernet on right. it, it just has USB. That now doesn't we, do peer link. Now, the, the legacy DL Ecom module, the Ecom 100, can do peer link also. Oh, it's not wrap. as simple, but it's in the wrap. It, it, yeah, you can, you can you can do it. It's with not the, as simple existing. as this, though. No, 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 no. But if you have legacy stuff, you can stick a 260 or a 240 on your peer link network. Okay, so there you have it. It's a simple system that you put in the code, and I'm, the code is going to be right with the video. You can download it, and look at it, and I'm set this guy up to broadcast on block zero, 16 memory locations. It's just publishing the information out. This guy's subscribing to it, listening. And I wrote a piece of code in here that said, look, if that PL0 location ever goes above this value, turn the light on. Just for simple, simple example so you can see what you can do with it. And it doesn't take a whole lot to make it happen.